Hello everyone welcome back to my channel. In recent statements from the chairman of the finance committee in Iraq, there's a clear emphasis on the urgency of addressing economic and monetary policy issues, particularly regarding the central bank's role and the potential revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. The chairman's words carry weight, signaling a concerted effort to push forward with measures aimed at enhancing the value of the dinar and implementing the long-awaited project to delete the zeros. This call for action underscores the mounting pressure on the central bank to take decisive steps towards currency reform. The economic landscape of Iraq is at a critical juncture, with various obstacles hindering progress and economic stability. As such, there's a growing sense of urgency among policymakers to overcome these challenges and propel the country towards a more prosperous future. One of the key focal points highlighted by the chairman of the Finance Committee is the need for a proactive approach to monetary policy. This entails closely monitoring economic developments, identifying potential bottlenecks, and devising effective strategies to address them. By emphasizing the supervisory aspect, there's a clear directive for the central bank to exercise diligence and accountability in its operations ensuring that monetary policies align with broader economic objectives. Central to these discussions is the issue of increasing the value of the dinar, a topic that has long been the subject of speculation and anticipation within the Iraqi population and the global investment community alike. The prospect of a dinar revaluation carries significant implications for Iraq's economy ranging from enhanced purchasing power for citizens to increased investor confidence and foreign investment inflows. At the heart of the matter lies the project to delete the zeros, a comprehensive initiative aimed at redenominating the Iraqi currency and streamlining its monetary system. This ambitious undertaking involves phasing out the existing banknotes with three zeros and introducing new, lower denomination notes. By removing these zeros, the aim is to simplify transactions reduce the logistical burden on businesses and financial institutions, and enhance the perceived value and credibility of the dinar on the international stage. The chairman's remarks suggest that there is a sense of urgency and determination to advance the project to delete the zeros and realize its intended objectives. This sentiment is echoed by various stakeholders, including government officials, economists, and ordinary citizens who recognize the transformative potential of currency reform in Iraq's economic recovery and development efforts. However, it's essential to acknowledge that implementing such reforms is not without its challenges and complexities. From logistical considerations to managing public expectations and mitigating potential risks, there are numerous factors that must be carefully navigated to ensure the successful execution of the project to delete the zeros. As Iraq continues its journey towards economic revitalization and stability, the chairman's call to action serves as a rallying cry for concerted efforts and collaboration among policymakers, financial institutions, and the wider community. By seizing this opportunity to address long-standing economic issues and embrace bold reforms, Iraq can unlock its full potential and pave the way for a brighter future for its citizens and the region as a whole. In conclusion, the chairman's remarks underscore the imperative for the central bank to prioritize monetary policy and accelerate efforts towards dinar revaluation and the implementation of the project to delete the zeros. While challenges lie ahead, the collective commitment to driving economic progress and prosperity in Iraq remains unwavering, laying the foundation for a new era of growth and stability in the country's economic landscape. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more updates.